Hi, my name is Taylor Ham, and I'm a front-end engineer here at Definity. Today, I'm going to walk you through the simple steps to deploying a static website on the internet computer. Static websites are generally websites that every user who visits sees the same content. They're not interacting with APIs or databases much, and they typically are comprised of HTML and CSS with light JavaScript. I'll walk you through how to use our built-in asset canisters to easily deploy these. OK, so you can see here that I have built a static site. I'm using Gatsby. It's running on my local host development server. And the topic at hand is deploying sites to the internet computer. How convenient. With that, let's get started. OK, so our first port of call is to install DFX. So let's copy this command into our terminal, paste and hit Enter. It'll ask us if we agree to the license. We'll hit Y for yes and hit enter. And after a few short moments, DFX will be installed. Now we'll move on to step two. Create a DFX.json file in the root folder of your project. So I'll come over here to my file view. And in the root, I will add a new file called DFX.json. And then we'll grab this content and we'll paste it into our file. Now what we've done here is instructed DFX that we want to build a canister. And that canister is going to have a name www. You can name it whatever you want. And the real magic happens when we tell it to be of type assets. Now an asset canister is a special thing on the internet computer that has built in store and retrieve methods for anything that you plop into your source folder. And the source folder is going to point to your build output for your site. And since I'm using Gatsby, that is my public folder. So anything I put in this public folder will be uploaded to the internet computer and accessible to my canister. Now we'll move on to step three, which is to deploy. So make sure we're in our project in our terminal window, which we are. And we'll paste this command here. And you'll see a couple things start to happen. First off, a DFX folder was added to our project. And we've started creating canisters, provisioning some space on the internet computer for our canister. And we've just had a canister IDs.json file pop in because we've created a canister ID. And we actually need this for our next step. It says here we need to check the output and grab the ID on this line. So right here, we've got our canister ID. And we're going to copy this five segment alphanumeric code to our clipboard. And now we're installing our code, authorizing our identity, and finally, we'll upload our assets. All right, so now that our canister has been deployed, we can move on to step four. And that is to visit our site. All right, let's open up a new tab. And let's paste in our canister ID from the last step and add .ic0.app and hit Enter. And boom, there you go. Look at that. Our website is now live on the internet computer, just as it was locally. And now we can go to the final step, step five. Celebrate. Spread this link far and wide and brag to all of your friends about joining the decentralized internet revolution. So now you've seen just how easy it is to deploy static websites to the internet computer. And with DFX installed, all you need to follow are steps two and three to repeat the process for any other sites you want to host on the IC. Thanks for following along.